I do have an intimate relationship with everything that's uh, been repaired on the building. The external doors to the director's entrance, we've seen for a long time in the client's office, so people are familiar with the graphic, people associate it with Battersea, and you'll see it around the area being reused for, for other graphics. Seeing the originals put back in their original location is great. The director's entrance was the showcase for the power station, so everyone would have arrived there, been greeted by the bronze doors. The fibrous plaster, the ornate ceiling at ground floor level when you come in. Although we did have a lot of the ceiling there originally, the structure supporting it was rotten, so uh, sadly we've had to replace a lot of that, but it's been painstakingly surveyed and recreated, so it's an exact replica in the same techniques as the original. You're greeted with the Art Deco lift, which has a cathedral yellow glass on the outside. That glazed shaft is a kind of fundamental part of the journey to Control Room A. And it's something that we always wanted to keep and make sure visitors were able to use. And the finishes have a hierarchy going up the staircase, so when you arrive you have marble on the floor, on the walls, um, similar panelling to Control Room A. And then the director's office was on the upper ground floor, so guests, with visitors would have been taken up to his office. And then from there you continue up, finishes change to terrazzo, and you can approach the control room from level two. We have got a close relationship with Historic England in that every month we have a conservation steering group. So everything we do here, we keep them informed of the methodologies that are being used. And then they have actually been in here in the last few months. So I think that they can see the progress that's, that's going on here.